Hi, today I'm going to be showing a job board made with Wix.com. So the first highlight feature of the home page is that the signed up employers who have created an account for themselves can place their profile on the home page by paying a daily amount. So this is the pro promoted profile cards and any employer up to four employees in total can have their card appear on the home page by paying a daily fee. To do that, the employer has to first go to their account. So let's log in as an employer. So as you can see that this is my employer dashboard. I have the total number of posted jobs, the total number of candidates I've shortlisted, the total number of applications along with the total number of views that my profile has got. And below it, I have the recent application. So all the applications that I receive, the top four, the most recent four is going to appear over here. I have the promoted job section which will show me which jobs I have promoted and when they are expiring along with the total applications received and total job views. This is the notifications panel. So for example, if the website developer or admin sends certain notifications, it's going to appear over here. To promote the profile, I'm going to click the button over here which is called promote profile and I'm going to get charged via the credit card which has been already saved at the time of my sign up. So the credit card is saved in a PCI compliant environment. It is not saved on the website. It is saved on the payment gateways server. So you can be it, it, you can be sure of that. So let's so go ahead and promote it for 10 days. So I agree to the terms of service and I click on pay and promote. So once my profile has been promoted successfully, it's going to appear on the home page. As you can see that the profile is now appearing on the home page. I can control my profile. So let's go ahead and show you the profile first. So the company profile, they will have a unique URL. Uh, candidates can come and follow the company, which means every time the company post a new job they're gonna get an email notification uh, you can control the information that is publicly available about your company via your profiles edit profile section so as you can see over here you can control the images that are being displayed the street address the about us and also whenever you post a job you can you can control which image is shown for example, if you would like to share the job on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc., there's something called social share image which appears on these posts. So you can appear, you can control which image appears. Same goes for your profile. When you when you are trying to, uh, let's say, share this profile somewhere on social media, you can control which image will appear via this button over here. And just below it, you can see all the positions that are available by this company. So let's go ahead and view this position right now. So as you can see, since it's a promoted job, you're seeing this icon over here. If it's not a promoted job, you won't see the icon. I'm going to show you show it to you. So you can see all the details over here. You can, if you want, you can try to share the job. If you click on the share button over here, you can see the location of the job you can see all the data of the job over here and as you can see this is the main job board the first four promoted pro uh, job cards are appearing on the top you have the different uh, filter capabilities you can filter by name of the place san francisco so it's it's this is controlled by google maps api and then you have like different color codes for each type of job so seasonal internship full-time part-time remote etc so let's go ahead and view a non-promoted job so as you can see on the non-promoted job the promotion icon does not appear and so yep so when you try to share a job it's going to appear like this 
uh, with the job title and the image and this image you can control from here so you can see that it's the same image let's go ahead and close this so the second section of the home page is that you can browse by categories there are different categories if you have different categories you can just uh, allow the users to browse them by different categories and then the most popular jobs in terms of job views can be seen over here so this is the job with the most amount of views and another thing about your can uh, employer section is that you can manage jobs so if you click over here you can manage your jobs so for example you can view the job you can edit the job you can see a number of applicants you can see the total jobs you've posted the jobs which have expired so once you set an application deadline the job expires after that and a total number of active jobs and you can also control your billing area billing information so over here i can see that i have I have been subscribed to the basic plan I'm playing I'm paying 4.99 per month and this is my card which has been saved I can cancel my subscription I can update my card or I can update my upgrade my plan I can also view the charges so for example each time I pay it's gonna get saved over here so I can view the charges so this is a subscription payment this is a charge which was probably made due to promoting the profile or promoting the a certain job if I click on the PDF over here, I can see the invoice. I can download the invoice. So as you can see, I can. This is the invoice, which your users can download from the billing area. So this is how the job board looks like. Now there's a lot more to it. The candidate section. You can offer the you can offer the employees different kind of packages and based on the package they will have access to different features on the website of course you pay via credit card and stuff so one more thing I wanted to show about this job board is that if you're logged in as a candidate, if you've created a profile as a candidate and you're logged in as a candidate, you can also save the jobs. So right now it's showing this action is not allowed when you're logged in as when you're not logged in as a candidate. But if you're logged in as a candidate and you click this button, your uh, this job is going to be saved and you can view it on your candidate dashboard later on. And on the main job board over here, it's got this heart which is grayed out. It's going to appear. It's going to be filled right uh, when you've saved this certain job so apart from that for example when a candidate applies for a job okay so there is a scoring there is a relevant score that is uh, that is calculated according to an algorithm that I have made so the relevant score uh, for the candidate and the job is calculated according to the skills that the employer has required the experience the location of the employer and a lot more factors go into play and this uh, relevant score is calculated and it will be displayed on the uh, applicants uh, application so for example whenever someone applies the employer will get an email notification and there will be a relevant score attached to it so it will have different four different zones or red green yellow and blue blue being the highest and a score of the applicant uh, out of 100 so this relevant score is calculated for each applicant uh, according to the applicant skill the really the relevance with the job he or she has applied for and then on your dashboard you can either view his uh, profile or download the download the CV or reject the applicant it's up to you as the employer so this is the add job section here you add your job you add all the details this is a rich text box if you want to give the location which will help uh, show the location over here on the Google map you can enter the latitude and longitude and you can also select different tags if you don't find a tag which is which will be available over here you can add a custom tag 
and then you submit the job.